every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 100, wait, no, not that kind of video. Welcome to the best of the best video, which I make every 30 new recipes tried. And I am trying a new recipe almost every single day. I was trying every single day, uh, but then I got a little bit busier and I started trying as often as I can, which is still pretty much every single day, just because I really got used to that and I just enjoy it so, so much. So before moving any further, let's address the elephant in the room, my awesome shirt. <laughs> I know, I know, lame and geeky and whatever, but I found it in one box of old stuff. And this is the shirt I have since, oh my goodness, a long time ago. I think I bought it from a friend when I was in high school. I was just so obsessed with ruggeds and even though <laughs> I was way too old to watch that cartoon at that time, or at least to admit that I'm watching. I, when I saw my friend having that shirt, and this video is turning out totally not about food, but I've been wearing, I was so excited to find this shirt. I've been wearing it the whole day, and I'm just, I don't know, I cannot stop smiling. And whenever it has some mirror, I'm like, Ooh, it's so cool. So I'll be the geeky uh, one as I am in this video, so please excuse me for that, but I feel like I will share my good mood and the smile with you today. So uh, without further ado, let's look over the best of the best recipe so far. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I still cannot believe that I have tried the most mysterious pie of them all for me, the pumpkin pie. <laughs> I honestly thought that I will never be able to try it just because I couldn't find, well, basically all of the main ingredients. So yesterday, when I finally had everything I needed, I just still couldn't believe that I will actually make it. I'm in love with the pumpkin pie spice blend right now, which, by the way, I also had to make myself as we don't really have such things as canned pumpkin puree or pumpkin pie spice. It's such a warm and perfectly autumny spice blend that once you start baking with it and your home fills with that lovely aroma, you realize that you want to sm that smell uh, to stay in your home forever. <laughs> and I can now understand all the craze in America with the pumpkin pie spice, everything. That's one of the most wonderful things I've discovered recently. So if you have access to a pumpkin, I urge you to try out this recipe as you can really make all, all of the ingredients yourself, even if you cannot find them ready in the stores. I mean, I would know. I did it myself and had one amazing experience with my first bite of a pumpkin pie. When I started with this recipe, I already knew it will be the most interesting and fun experience ever. As the process of making these soft pretzels seriously reminds you of some sort of a lab experiment. There's yeast dough, which already is so fun. Then you make these cute shaped pretzels and then you bake them in a soda water bath. I mean, come on, if that's not interesting and unique, I don't know what is. The whole time I was making these pretzels, I was wishing I had this white lab coat. <laughs> I don't know why. I just felt really cheerful and amused while trying out this recipe. And the greatest part about it is that you can actually make the pretzels any taste you like. Just sprinkle them with whatever suits your fancy and you can have them different every single time you make them. I tried a lot of seafood recipes lately just because I spent quite some time in Lithuania where I could 
actually find seafood because uh, there's not much of it in Iran. I mean, there's shrimp and there's fish and that's basically that. So I did have to uh, skip every, almost every single seafood themed recipe. Consequently, the fanciest dish will have to be a seafood one. And from all the ones I tried, I have to say the coolest, okay, fanciest one uh, was the grilled seafood salad. I mean, there was no chance I could try this recipe in Iran, not only because of the different kinds of seafood you use in it, but also because of arugula, which is also nowhere to be found in Iran. So you see, this is a pretty fancy dish for me, all right? Nonetheless, it's one of the quickest recipes you can find. You can have your lunch in like 20 minutes, preparation included, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. And as always, it's so flavorful. I just love Laura's food for this reason. You'll never eat anything bland or tasteless when you try her recipes. It's always so full of flavor that your taste buds couldn't be happier. So if you like seafood and if you like grilled food, wait, what am I saying? Is there anyone who doesn't like grilled food? <laughs> well, anyways, I really suggest trying this recipe out as the marinade is honestly to die for so good. I think the cutest things I've tried recently were the blueberry lemon tartlets. This is something which requires so little of your effort and looks so adorable and tempting in the end. You can make a lot of them in practically no time at all. And the greatest thing about this recipe is that you can choose whichever flavored yogurt and berries you like. I love this combination though, as I'm a big fan of more tart desserts and the lemon yogurt with the blueberries tasted fantastic together. Embarrassing to admit, but we actually ate them all with one go together with my mom. And we realized that only when there was none left on the plate. This is the recipe which I wanted to mention in pretty much every single category in this video, but in the end, in order not to repeat myself, I've decided to place it here, as this roasted turkey was definitely the most impressive thing I've cooked so far. The discussion about me planning to try and roast the whole turkey started in my family before I even started preparing for this recipe. It's something that has never been done or seen in my family and some of them even tried to persuade me that there's no such thing as a whole turkey in Lithuania. So needless to say, once this monstrosity of a bird was found and cooked, everyone was left speechless. It's actually a really simple recipe. You don't need any amazing cooking skills or a bunch of fancy ingredients. Basically, all you need is time. As this is a huge bird, you will need to roast it for a good three and a half hours. Then you need to allow it to rest for 20 minutes. And then the carving also takes some of your time, especially if you're not very experienced. Um, but the good side of this recipe is that during those three and a half hours it's roasting, you really don't need to do anything. It doesn't require any of your attention. So you can focus on setting the table or making some salad or whatever you want to do before having one of the most amazing meals of your life. This turkey is so juicy and flavorful, it's crazy. You won't be able to understand how it can be so good with so little ingredients. I've already received requests from my family to make it for our Christmas Eve dinner and I highly suggest you do the same. It's an incredible recipe which will leave your belly as happy as it can be. I have 
two recipes to share this time as I just couldn't choose between them. The first one is cheese danish. I have mentioned quite a lot of times that I'm not a big sweets lover. Um, I mean, I really enjoy trying a bite of something homemade I've never tried before, but I could actually live without any sweets in my life. That having said, <laughs> there's one category of pastry I'm quite crazy about and rarely am able to resist if I see it's freshly made and it's the kind like cheese danish. In Lithuanian we have a special name for such pastry which is bandalem and when I took out these cheese danishes out of the oven I immediately understood that I have just made my favorite kind of dessert. I loved 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 this recipe. There's honestly nothing better for me, well while speaking about sweets, than a fresh homemade bandale and a cup of Earl Grey. It was so tasty and oh my god, now I want one! I'll have to make some of them soon. Good that holidays are just around the corner, a perfect excuse to bake my heart away. And the second recipe I had to mention uh, is blueberry muffins. I have never tried a fluffier and softer thing in my life and I love the combination of tart blueberries and perfectly sweet, that is not too sweet for me, uh, muffin itself. First you get overly excited while I'm, I'm unwrapping it from <laughs> I'm like getting excited now <laughs> so you get overly excited while unwrapping it from the liner as it looks so cute and beautiful those little dark spots of blueberries and then with the first bite you just want to close your eyes and enjoy it as the muffin literally melts in your mouth. I was really, really surprised just how much I enjoyed these muffins. So the next time you feel like having a muffin, please try this recipe. It's, well, you just have to try it, you'll see. <laughs> my favorite category. So this time I couldn't take my fingers off the candied bacon bites. It was one of those recipes where I had no idea what it will taste like and in general it sounded so strange and unusual that if not for this challenge I highly doubt that I would have ever tried anything like this in my life and boy would I have missed out. I'm pretty sure I'll make these bites for Christmas Eve dinner as well as I know everyone will love them. I remember with my first bite I remembered this super old Pringles was it ad uh, which was running when I was a kid. You know that one once you pop, you can't stop. It could easily be applied to these candied bacon bites as well. Once you try one of them, you cannot resist taking the second one, and then the third one, and then... As I don't want to repeat recipes I've already mentioned, and I have one more recipe I really wanted to share with you, I will put it into this yummiest main dish category, which is white risotto. It is so good that you can honestly eat it on its own. I really didn't expect to enjoy it that much, but there's something about the cooking way, I guess, which makes it the best rice you'll ever taste in your life. And I didn't even use wine that time, so I can only imagine how much more of the flavor there would be with it. You guys encouraged me to try it out with the arborio rice as well as with white wine, and I'm planning to do it soon. So if you're also someone who hasn't tried a really good rice dish yet, Start with this one. I promise you'll be amazed how good rice can actually be. Oh my goodness, I have so many recipes to share with you this time that I feel like I need, really need to just focus and try not to talk too much about each one of them, especially because I feel like I've already mentioned quite a lot of them in my previous videos. I think by this time 
it's already becoming quite apparent which recipes actually became favorites in my family as I just you know keep making them so first I want to mention you two sandwich recipes mozzarella in carrozza has already become a go-to recipe for me whenever I feel like a hot kind of sandwich or whenever I'm not really sure what I want to eat I always make these grilled cheese sandwiches you can add pretty much anything you want to them and they're great every single time and whenever I come to Lithuania I always feel drawn to make the asparagus and prosciutto bruschetta because I cannot really find neither of the main ingredients mentioned even in the title itself in Iran so in Lithuania I go pork all the way and these sandwiches actually are kind of like the gateway for all the rest of the recipes I love the sauce you cook the asparagus in so much these sandwiches seriously are so addictive now the salads I have three to mention the first salad is of course the caprese salad I just love it it's so simple so easy it looks really appetizing and I honestly make it almost every single time I want a tomato because it's just that much better than just a tomato on its own another salad I really like to make is the couscous salad it's a perfect salad for lunch you can make it in advance and just take it with you to work as it really holds very well doesn't get soggy or anything like that and is pretty filling and the last salad which is also mostly Lithuania based is tomato and avocado salad my mom loves both of these that is tomatoes and avocados so I can find them pretty much at any given moment in her kitchen and then dressed with that amazing lime dressing a beautiful and incredibly tasty salad is born and now pasta dishes I have two to share this time one day I was really compelled to recreate the pasta with sausage and spinach and oh my what a lovely lunch that was if you have access to Italian or actually any kind of raw meat sausage and already washed and dried spinach then this recipe will be like a one two three steps and I'm having my lunch kind of recipe uh, as I don't have access to those things I do have to plan a bit more in advance but nevertheless it's a really quick and tasty dish to have in moments notice I also recreated the veggie pasta bake and I have to say I was quite disappointed with myself because I was feeling quite confident that day and decided to experiment a bit with different ingredients and quantities and whatnot and it didn't turn out that good at all when I remember what a divine bake it was the first time I was really sad I didn't follow the instructions so I'm sure next time I'll do everything the same because this dish is superb as for the main dishes I actually counted five I recreated this time surprise surprise I'm still on chicken cacciatore streak I don't know why but I just want to make it again and again it's really tasty I love how tender and flavorful the chicken gets and I think I'll leave it at that because I have mentioned this recipe like 100 times already one day my hubby came back home with tilapia so I knew I have to make the crispy tilapia cutlets they are amazing I actually love such kind of recipes I just usually need a little push to start as for some reason I tend to get really lazy at the coating the fish or poultry part but I'm more than happy to eat the end dish as it's always so good so if you haven't tried this recipe yet you have to yum and I also planned one evening to just treat ourselves to an amazing dinner and made the eggplant parm oh my god this is one of those recipes which you'd always choose to eat if someone would make them for you they do require a little bit more time to cook as there are a few different steps involved but 
If you could only taste how good it is in the very end, you definitely understand what I mean. And I wouldn't even be able to tell you how many times I recreated the roasted tomatoes and zucchini recipe. The only difference being I put whatever veggies I have at the moment, which makes this recipe a wonderful cleaning out the fridge recipe. I love such recipes because you can really create something super tasty with just bits and pieces of what you have left. Very, very good and delicious dish indeed. The last main dish kind recipe I want to mention is the pizza dough. The same as chicken cacciatore, I've been feeling like homemade pizza quite often. I didn't really follow any particular recipe, just put whatever I had in the fridge on a pesto brushed pizza crust and it was delightful every single time. Love yeast dough! Okay, and the last two recipes I want to mention are surprisingly dessert recipes. Well, maybe not, not that surprising when I tell you that I didn't really make them for myself, I made them for someone else. The first one is the pound cake. Oh my god, this is one amazing cake. So simple, so basic, no crazy ingredients or anything, but Every single person who tried it couldn't stop praising how good it is. So I made it a couple more times to just bring to my friends as I knew they loved it so much. And the second recipe I made, you laugh, <laughs> the original apple pie. First of all, of course, because I raved so much about it while trying the caramel apple pie that I just made myself want it so much. And second of all, I had the audacity to call it better than my family's apple cake we've all been making since I was a kid, so I knew I had to make this apple pie for my family, just at least to try it. Yum, yum, yum. This is one breathtaking pie, both aesthetically and taste-wise. If you haven't tried it yet, you definitely should. An explosion of flavors in your mouth, guaranteed. Whew, that was a lot, but that's everything I wanted to mention, my shirt included. I'm like so happy about this shirt. This is so funny. So now I'm really eager to just go and start editing this video as the fa most favorite part of such videos, I have to say, I really look forward to these videos, by the way. So the favorite part for me is to see in those 10, 20 seconds, um, how ingredients turn into something amazing. I just, I just love that part. Do you have, I'm so curious, do you have a favorite part in such videos? I, I would really love to know, basically because I'm just so curious about everything. For example, do you ever make any of these videos, videos, any of these recipes that I mentioned? Uh, because sometimes some of you share that you made something after watching my video and then <laughs> I get so jealous because that's the food I already ate and I know how good it is. So I just go and make it again. No joke. So if you ever make anything after watching my video, I would love to know because, well, I'm a curious one, all right? So I'm all over social media, wherever is comfortable for you, just share with me because, well, first, I'm curious, as I mentioned like 100 million times, and second, it's so cool to know that you're not alone. As for all the recipes I've mentioned in this video, I will leave the links to them in the description box down below as I always do. Oh, you know what? As if I haven't chatted so long already. Oh my goodness. But I just realized that I happen to be in Lithuania almost every single time I film these kinds of videos, which is so interesting when you think about it. Timing. It's all about timing, isn't it? So anyways, um, I'm not really sure when I will put this video up, but 
hopefully before Christmas and New Year's. So if you feel like sending me a postcard or just a short letter to say hi, I would love that. I love handwritten uh, letters. So I will try to answer every single one of you as I always, always do whenever I'm in Lithuania because I just, I just really, really love and enjoy handwritten letters. Am I old fashioned with this shirt? I don't know. Let's think about that for a second. But anyways, um, you can find the PO box address in the description box down below. And is there anything else I would like to add? Mm, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't start. Not maybe, I shouldn't start anything else because I have a feeling this video will be pretty long as it is. <laughs> because I don't know, the longer, uh, the more I try the uh, recipes, the more I make these kinds of videos, the more comfortable I get. I mean, I really started feeling like I'm talking to someone and not just someone. I already got to know some of you, so I imagine people now. So it's really a conversation and I love to chat. I really do. I think you have noticed that. So I'm just I don't know, sitting and chatting away with a friend here. So I think I should wrap it up. And that will be all for today. I really hope that you had fun, that you enjoyed this video. And most of all, I really hope that you found it helpful because I decided and I continue making these videos with the hope that you will get some kind of inspiration maybe from them or at least some ideas of what um, the next recipe to try could be. So yeah, that would be my hope and little dream for these videos. Uh, but other than that, I really hope that you had fun. And if you like this video and haven't yet subscribed, you should definitely do. If you want to see this face and maybe Chucky, man, Chucky is the coolest. <laughs> He's giving me so much good mood today. Oh my god. Okay, Ruta, wrap it up, wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!